Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to walk into the town, there's definitely more and more for our game. Let's start the start of the moment. So this is the day. Goal number one, Leo Connor. Number two, Steve Harrison. Number three, Daniel Halliday. Number four, Daniel Moore. Number five, David Thompson. Number six, Luke Gillespie. Number seven, Nicholas Kelly. Number eight, Gary Olsen. Number nine, Michael Dixon. Number ten, Andrew Mulford. Number 11, Lee McCaffrey. And on the interview for today's last week, number one, Ian Deacon. Number two, Rory Marriott. Number three, Chris Shaw. Number four, Amy Balls. Number five, Ross Henshaw. Number six, Mark Sturetsky. Number seven, Sam Jones. Number eight, Sean Gregory. So we're here after the FA Vars fourth round game where Hina have just lost 1-0 to Dunstan UTS. Um, with me, I've got half of Hina, I've got manager Glenn Clarence, assistant manager James Baker, coach Steve Huntington and player Kieran De Brower. Captain. Captain for the day, Kieran De Brower. Um, yeah, we'll come straight to you, Kino. Thoughts on today's game, how did it go? I thought uh, all the lads dug in well, dug in deep, worked very hard. I think, don't think there was much in the game between both sides, to be honest with you. I don't think the pitch helped either side, but it would have made it into a battle and everyone was battled hard. The crowd were brilliant and it just went, just didn't go for us in the end, that right, really. Okay, um, Glenn, anything to add on that one? Yeah, like you know, I said most of it, Tony, but um, I mean, first of all, credit to the ground staff for getting the game on. I mean, half the games around local have not been on, so fair play to Mark and Rob and their team for getting the game on. Um, this time of year it's a wet pitch, it's going to cut up and it did cut up, um, but I think any fan that was in the ground today, whether you're from Dunstan or from Ena, will say the same thing, that it were an equal game, they are massive favourites to win the all competition, massive favourites to beat us today and I don't think they were massively better than us, I think we were as good if not better than them for 91 minutes, they've had one chance and took it. Um, at the end of the day, it's football, isn't it? Someone's got to lose, and it's a hard game sometimes. But again, proud of our lads today. Every single one of us gave us a shift, and to go out to former winners and favourites to win the competition with a great performance, you've got to hold your heads up and accept it. I thought we were very good today. Okay, Steve. Um, yeah, I can remember a conversation with you earlier in the season where you said that if we're still in the Vars, still looking for it around Christmas time then that would be success. Um, any sort of disappointment today after seeing that? Of course we're disappointed we've just been knocked out. Um, I think that goes without saying, but along with that disappointment comes you know, probably one of the, the best team performances of the season. I don't think any, any player left anything out there. You know, they've trained hard this week, we got together last night. Uh, you know, the attitude and the atmosphere around the, co the club and the camp has been as good as an FA Vars winning squad, which you've maybe just seen today, and half of them have already won it. Uh, so, of course, we're disappointed, Tony. Uh, I think everybody in Hena is disappointed, but we couldn't have asked any more uh, of anybody out there. They've given everything they've got. Very proud, but, you know, obviously we're upset. We're, you know, we were out. Coffee. 
What was your personal night? Okay, um, James, performance today. Um, last week it was well noted that the lads grafted, they did the right things, it just didn't quite come off. Um, is it just a case of performance but no end product there? I think we learnt a lot from last week, if, we, if we're completely honest. We went to, to Pickering, the pitch wasn't brilliant. And yeah, we did graft last week, but we also tried to play and probably overplayed on a poor surface. Whereas today, we, we've learnt from that. And we, we knew that we couldn't overplay in certain areas. And percentage-wise, we, we played really well. They, they were just more clinical than us. Than us. They had one clear-cut chance, they took it. We had one half chance. If Nathan puts it anywhere else, it, it, it's a goal. Like their, their guy said to us after the game, if that's anywhere else other than straight to his keeper, it, it's one all. We live and learn. Of course. Um, yeah, living and learning. Tuesday night, Glenn. Hands with Paramore away. What's your thoughts on that one? I think we've got to take stock, Tony. Um, <clears throat> I'll say it for anyone else does. We've lost four games on the bounce. So I don't like losing games at all. But to take it into perspective, we've gone to Tadcaster, top of the league, um, unlucky. We've gone to Staveley, second in the league, and collapsed. We've gone to Pickering, three hours away, and we're unlucky. And we've been knocked out the last 32 in the FAVR. So, yes, it's four on the bounce, but it's two of the top three. Sorry, two of the top two in the league. It's a three-hour trip to Pickering, and it's the favourites for the FA Vars. We've got to be realistic. Answorth is not going to be an easy game. They were up there with, as favourites at the start of the season, so they're going to be a very, very good side. Um, we just need to take stock and try and get a result there, and then we've thankfully got four or five games at home at last. So we'll be OK. Like I said last week, and again, I'm not making excuses. Anyone could see it today that we're here. We ain't a bad side. Um, Probably lacking a bit of luck at the minute, but especially today and last week, very, very proud of the lads. It'll come, I'm sure of that. Yeah, just to add to that, I think, you know, what we've said in there, and I, you know, I get onto the lads quite a bit if they don't perform. Um, what we have said, and I'll say it on air so people know, if we play like that every week, uh, we won't lose too many games. And I think the lads know that, and I think they've learned a lot today. So, onwards and upwards. Okay, I think we'll leave it there for the time being. Thanks for your time, Jack.